Hey everyone, I have a question for you today. Do you want to get rid of Echo in DaVinci Resolve? Well, this is going to apply to the free version of DaVinci Resolve, and I think that there isn't really a good way to get rid of Echo. If you really want to get rid of Echo, it's much better to treat your room. Add like portable furniture racks, couches, carpets, treat the walls with some of that stuff you put on the walls. All of that stuff will make it just so much better than trying to remove echo in post-production. So removing echo in post-production is not really a good idea. It's much better to get a good audio source to begin with. But what happens if you don't have a good audio source to begin with? Well, I'm going to show you one method that you can reduce echo. You can't eliminate it, but you can kind of reduce the annoying effect it has on your audio source. So before I get into this, I'm going to show you a test clip of this method just to show you the effects of it so you can decide whether it's worth it for you. Stars by Robert Frost How countlessly they congregate o'er our tumultuous snow which flows in shapes as tall as trees when wintry winds do blow as if with keenness for our fate our faltering few steps on to white rest in a place of rest invisible at dawn. And yet with neither love nor hate those stars like some snow white minerva's snow white marble eyes without the gift of sight okay so you see that you can reduce the effects of echo a little bit you can lessen its annoying impact but you can't really remove it completely you can't really make audio that's not top quality sound top quality but you can make it acceptable in some cases. And here's how to do it. It's actually really easy. The first step is equalization. So you're going to want to put your audio into DaVinci Resolve and go into the Audio tab and open up the equalizer. Now, you want to enable all the points of the equalizer and, of course, cut out the low and high frequencies if it's just voice. And then what you want to do is sort of play with the three and four nodes nodes three and four, and sort of drag them up to the max, of course, with your volume on a relatively low setting, drag them up to the max, and listen for those frequencies that are most enhanced by the echo, and then bring them down by between minus five and minus 10 dB. Now, minus 10 dB is a lot, but again, this is just a compromise. You ideally don't want to equalize this much. You want your audio, audio to be pretty good in the first place, but in this case, bring them down between minus 5 and minus 10 dB. Once you've found those frequencies that kind of sound like they're very echoey. Believe me, there are going to be some frequencies that are very echoey there. The next step is the AU Sound Isolation plugin. Now, if you go into these possible plugins that you can use on your audio in this Fairlight tab, in the Audio tab in DaVinci Resolve, you'll find the AU Sound Isolation plugin. You don't want to use that here. And the reason why that is is because you can't control the wet and dry mix of this plugin in the Fairlight tab for some reason. I don't know why. To actually control it, the trick is to go back to the editing tab and go to the audio effects and find under AU, find the AU sound isolation plugin. Drag that onto your audio, and now you'll see that if you go into the effects, area into the options of your effect, you'll be able to adjust the wet and dry mix. So this allows you to adjust how much of the audio is going to be processed by the plugin. It's sort of like a transparency slider, basically. Now, the audio sounds pretty good at 100 already. In other words, the wet and dry mix to 100. But the problem with setting it at 100 is sometimes this plugin is very aggressive and will completely eliminate some parts of speech that you don't want to eliminate, like S sounds and other sounds, maybe soft K or T sounds. This plugin will eliminate some of those. So you can have a listen to your audio if you want on a full 100 to see how it sounds. But you may notice, if it's, especially if it's a long recording, that some of it's going to be sort of eliminated. Some parts of it will be eliminated and hence will be rendered more incoherent. So that's why you want to use the wet and dry slider and drag down the effect of this AU sound isolation 
Now, I found between 30 and 50 is safe. You might be able to increase it a little bit higher if all of the sounds in your audio are very, very coherent, very strong. But in general, I think between 30 and 50 is best. Maybe you can play with it. Try and get it as high as possible while your audio will still sound fairly natural. But I think if it's increased too high, the audio does start to sound a little bit unnatural. So basically, remember the two steps are equalization first with those middle notes to find the echoey frequencies and then use the AU sound isolation plugin to sort of remove that last little bit of echo. It does do a good job in making the audio sound less echoey. Now this plugin is not going to work if your audio is filled with background noises. This is just for echo. If you have a lot of background noises, yes, the plugin, the AU sound isolation plugin and this technique will make it sound a bit better, but you'll never make it sound that good. This is just for mild echo in your audio. If your audio is really horrible, then don't expect to fix it in post like this. Just record it again or plan ahead and record in a better space in the future. So yeah, mild echo can be ameliorated by this technique. It can't be eliminated. It's always better to record in a better space. But nevertheless, this technique does work and I've used it on occasion when I haven't had a good audio recording space and there's a little bit of echo there then you can use this technique to remove some of the echo or at least make its effects less noticeable. I hope you enjoyed watching this video on DaVinci Resolve. I know it's not about photography, but I am a little obsessed with audio and trying to make it sound good at least. So I hope you enjoy this video, which is a slight detour from my regular YouTube channel. And I'll see you again next time. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you very much.